What's up guys, Amos from Streetwise here. We're at SEMA 2018 in Las Vegas at the Lake Country Manufacturing booth. I'm with Dave Patterson from Lake Country and he's going to run us through some of the new products here at the show. Thanks Amos. Yeah, uh, this year we are premiering our new uh, LC Power Tools Udos machine which is a user-defined orbital stroke. It's the first polisher uh, available that you can variably adjust your orbit stroke length. So essentially you can take a um, four different polishers uh, like a porter cable type polisher and have the orbit range all the way to 21 millimeters like a, uh, some of the long stroke machines that are on the market. So the idea uh, is based along balancing an airplane. So our, our vice president is an aeronautical engineer and he's also FAA approved to inspect airplanes along with being a pilot. So he designed this using a, a basic concept of how you balance a fuselage of an airplane and we kind of took that technology and figured out how we could use that in the polishing world. Um, so what happens is when you adjust your orbit, it, it also adjusts your counterweight to equal the balance out so that you get a properly balanced tool. The one thing that is different about this machine is because of all the internal components that we have, um, we need to do a, a slightly different type of balancing. So instead of static balancing, similar to what all the other polishers on the market, we have to do a dynamic balancing where essentially we're balancing at multiple points of the plane in, in this tool in order to make sure that it's vibration free. So um, I'll actually give you the mic here and I'll, I'll walk you guys through cool. how, the, how the machine works and how it, how it will work for the end user. So this is actually still a prototype. I, ideally there's going to be some bumpers that prevent the tool from being scratched uh, when you lay it down. We can see that in a lot of other tools on the market right now. Um, people spend a lot of money on a tool and um, there's really not a great way to lay them down and they always get scratched up or look bad after six months of use or something like that. So minor things, minor details. Um, we're still finalizing the nose shape um, for our handle. Uh, we want to make sure it, it fits really well for people with large hands, but also people with short hands, whether they're right or left handed, and then also how they choose to, to handle the machine. Right. Many people will hold the machine like this, um, others hold it down like this or in like this. So um, ideally we're just trying to um, get as much user feedback as we can to make sure that we get our nose piece correct. Um, but as you can see here, the design of the cord actually originated to be an upward slant because right. most people put it over their shoulder. Uh, but what we did is we kind of changed that and made it extremely flexible um, and resistant to breaking. So because we know that with our new design, you're gonna have to use the butt of the handle in order to change change some of the orbits. Right, right. So essentially what you do is you just take the gear ring, you line it up with your two lines right here. You press your button similar to a rotary polisher when you're taking off a backing plate, so it'll lock lock the mechanism so that you could take your backing plate off. You lock your mechanism and then you pull your orbit ring and you can adjust your orbit in or out. So right here, we've got a six millimeter orbit. And as you can see, it's, it's short, similar to a, um, an eight millimeter port cable or your, your standard DA. We can realign this up. And you can change it to a 12 or change it to a 15 or all the way to, to a 21. And as you can see, it yeah, completely wow. changes the orbit. So um, it essentially replaces four tools, puts them into one, makes it easier for the technician. Um, you know, many people use multiple polishers for different reasons. So um, the, what, what our idea was that it's a versatile tool that can be used for sanding, uh, whether it's finishing sanding with like a, a small orbit, like six millimeter, um, a more aggressive sanding, um, something like a 12 millimeter, uh, but also be able to utilize the different features of it as a polisher. So uh, everybody loves the 21 because it cuts really hard. Uh, many detailers, choose to use one polisher rather than many, so they choose a 15. It seems to be like a happy balance between right. the different orbits. Um, but then also, we have the ability to, to jump down into a 12 millimeter and eight millimeter, so. Um, as far as like reducing stalling, the lower yeah, the millimeters, yeah, the rotation. So, um, Hypercars, supercars, they have deep scoops where the curves are sharp. Um, a Porsche with the, the rear hips where they swoop down. Um, sometimes those areas are easier to correct with a shorter orbit. Um, unless you have some advanced skills, but um, so it's nice to be able to 
adjust the orbit on the machine, whether it's how big of an area you're working because you don't have the room to move 21 millimeters. Right, like on uh, a bumper edge yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, or just the contour is not friendly to a long orbiting machine. So um, we feel like it's a it's a cool idea for our, um, our market that's going to kind of completely change the way people look at tools. And uh, we're anxious to see what else comes from our patented te te technology as tools advance. Yeah, sure. So four different rotations. Do we know what the price is going to be around? Well, we're still working through um, some of the pricing and the specifics of it because we're still dialing in our internal components. But we anticipate a, a price point of somewhere between six and seven hundred U.S. dollars. And it's on uh, track to ship Q2 of next yeah. year. Yeah, quarter two of 2019, um, and we'll have a. We'll have some other accessories and things that we'll be launching in the upcoming months that will go along with the tool. Yeah, it's really exciting uh, stuff, so I think everybody's looking forward to it. There's been a lot of really good feedback online uh, and all the detailing forums and things like that, so uh, you know, it's good to see uh, some innovation in the tool world. Yeah, we appreciate, and, uh, appreciate And I think everybody's really excited for Lake Country, so. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.